G'day, how's it going? My name's Max from League of Earthlings. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, welcome back to a not depressing at all episode of Heavy Rain. So, in the last episode, Jesus, it was a bit of a heavy one. Uh, we were sort of met a few characters. Scott Shelby was uh, investigating uh, Mr. Kramer about his son while they were at the golf course. Uh, and then we were Ethan Mars and he had to do another trial, which was a bit bloody gruesome. Uh, and then we're back with, um, this is Agent Jaden, who's just had a big fight with his dickhead boss. And uh, I think he knows he's going to have to go out alone and sort this out. So off we go. So yeah, hope you're doing well, guys, and I hope you enjoy the episode. So yeah, this guy's starting to get a bit fed up, isn't he, with his boss? I don't blame him either. He's an absolute gobshite. So let's see what we're doing now. Okay. All right, here he is. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, there congratulations, go, yeah. Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> right. Let's go find these guys and see where we're going. <laughs> bloody hell. I'm still not used to these bloody controls. Right, here he is over here, let's see. Well, he doesn't seem to be saying anything to this dickhead. Uh, do we go and see the big boss? Ah, he must be in there fiddling with it, so he doesn't want to be disturbed. Okay. Right, okay. Is he in one of these? Oh god. It's not him. So is in this last one. Right, don't know where he is. I have no idea where I'm meant to be going here. Let's help Ethan, I think. I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. Okay. Uh... My gut feeling is that Mars is innocent and I gotta get him out of here. Yeah. I should consult my superiors. Maybe... <sighs> no, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. Yeah, they haven't got a bloody clue. Well, so where the hell is he? I just don't believe he's guilty. Nothing about him matches the killer's profile. Let's see if he's over here somewhere. I can get in here. What's this room? How's that lifts and stuff? Uh, leave with a. I can't do anything for Mars. These are serious charges he's facing. It's none of my business. If Perry and Blake think Mars is the killer, what can I do about it? Right, he seems to be contradicting himself a bit, doesn't he? Uh, 
That shithead Perry doesn't give a damn if Blake beats up a witness or if Mars is innocent. All he wants is to be able to tell the press they've arrested the origami killer. Right, I'm not so sure where I'm meant to be going here. No, I, I can't just stand by and watch. I'm gonna help Mars get out of here. Yeah, but where the hell is he? What's in here? Alright, oh, okay, yeah, we'll go to the toilet. This guy's just had a piss. This guy's having a dumb. Right, so we need to find Ethan. Hopefully we'll find him, uh, you know, in the next couple of days. He may be guilty. He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. Right, so we're out of uh, options, so we need to find Ethan. So we can't get in there. Right, so where the hell is he? I think this was the room he was in, wasn't it? Sure it was. Oh Jesus, right, okay, they've knocked the shit out of him. But we fa finally found him. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Yeah. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Ah. <sighs> uh. Oh, let's get this bugger out. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I want to free Mars. Okay, let's do that. First, get rid of the cuffs. Shit, what am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten-year stretch. Uh, right. This is a bit weird, isn't it? There should be officers' raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and give it to Mars. Okay, let's go and do that. Let's find some, uh, raincoats. What's in here? There's one. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. <laughs> if you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Right, let's get them. Right, so we got the raincoat. Where's his bloody keys? Coat on him. Yeah, 
Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. Right, get the keys. They said they were on the desk. Hopefully this is his desk in here. to find the keys on the, I don't know which one's his desk. So I need the keys, don't I? First, get rid of the cuffs. Right. I need to find some bloody keys. So where are they? Right, I'm not too sure. It just said they were on his desk, but uh, I don't know which was his desk. Right, okay. First, get rid of the cuffs. Yeah, that's great saying that, but how the bloody hell are you meant to do it? Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. First, get rid of the cuffs. Right, where's the bloody keys for this? Lovely, that was very uh, discreet. Okay, we'll get back to him. Get these handcuffs off. Jeez, by the time we get this guy out, everyone would have been murdered. Right, let's get these bloody handcuffs off. That's it. You're free. Right, put the jacket on. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. <sighs> right, so he's off. I hope I won't regret that. God. Looks like a bloody Jedi. <laughs> like you wouldn't notice him walking through. <laughs> right, he's in deep shit, isn't he, this Jaden? Okay, so, right, Ethan's been released. So let's see what ha happens to him next. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Oh dear. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway. Yeah, and fingerless. And they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Okay. Oh, here's a... Uh... There's Fitty. I brought some food. I do like this, I didn't Sheila. I you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Uh, right, help. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. 
I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the Jesus, time. Jesus, you wouldn't comply, would you? If you needed help, I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Confide? Nice curtains. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. Bloody hell, this is uh, confusing, isn't it? When Sean is out of danger, he I'll can't turn be doing myself that, in, but surely. not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. Right, so that shows he's not the killer, really. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Right. Right, so she's gone. Right, guys, I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there for this episode. Um, so, yeah, it looks like he's about to do another trial or something, but we'll see in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do upload daily, so if you do like this sort of content, if you would possibly uh, consider subscribing, that would be absolutely bonza. But, uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.